वर्णिवेशमणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्रीघनश्याम महाराज नीज ऑल मैटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड और बिलउड घनश्याम महाराज पात में कठोर लिब्रेशन पूज्य पात गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डेट इज जय स्वामी नारायण मैनी टाइम्स वी सिंग अकॉर्डी संत कृपाए सुख उपजे संत कृपा थी सरे काम संत कृपा थी पामी ए पूरण पुरुषोत्तम धाम Nishkudan Swami had written this kadi and its meaning is very very important for us because without krupa meaning grace of any sadguru sant we cannot walk on the path of liberation we cannot know the form of god we cannot understand what is the message of bhagwan and to understand everything in spirituality we need this grace of one's guru or any kandik satpurush for this we can also uh, explain the term krupa in different ways like we can say grace or we can say it's rajipo or we can say it's blessings but the meaning of all these words are similar without the help of any bona fide guru or any particular ekantik sant we cannot walk on the path of liberation to attain god realization we need perfect master we need a perfect sant who, who leads us on the way to god now let's see in the vachanamrut what bhagwan swami and himself said if the extremely great purush becomes pleased upon a person then regardless of how unfavorable the person's sanskars may be they all are destroyed moreover if the great purush is pleased a beggar can become a king regardless of how unfavorable a person's prarabdh may be it it becomes favorable and regardless of how dis- disastrous a misfortune he is to face it is avoided so if extremely great purush becomes pleased upon a person then he can get benefit not only this b- human birth but even after uh, after death he can also enjoy the divine bliss of aksharda this is the words of bhagwan swami and himself he had said this in the vachanamrut 58 of garuda first chapter so now as nishkudanand swami says the same thing bhagwan swami himself says the same thing so we should firmly believe in our life that we should also try to collect try to attain all kinds of pleasures grace rajipo from ekantik satpurush because if we have that rajipo of ekantik satpurush then whatever kind of misfortune or whatever will happen to us in the future that everything avoided and that is why we need the rajipo of ekantik satpurush this is the words of bhagwan and sant but what exactly happened to the life of many devotees at the time of bhagwan swami narayan as we know bhagwan himself as well as his all the santos in different groups they also travel one place to another one village to another and uh, by traveling to from village to village they preach the satsang to the others 
they spread the satsang perspective among the people and by this way satsang gradually develop in the people in the society and um because of the traveling of bhagwan as well as santos the satsang develop not only that but those who were the devotees of bhagwan they also join themselves more and more in the satsang and those who are the spiritual seeker those who are an aspirant they also seek for the liberation and they for that they also attain the chance to attain god realization or we can say they can't accept purush and through him they can attain god himself or at least they can understand what bhagwan is or what bhagwan says or what is dharma what is gnan what is bhakti what is vairagya they can at least understand so in this way bhagwan swami and himself was traveling one place to another and give his a uh, pleasure meaning the eternal happiness or we can say bliss to the devotees and those who are not a devotee they also join the fellowship once upon a time sri ji maharaj along with many saints arrived in the city of gondal at the time that was the capital city of the state and the king of the state from from the beginning they were the devotees of bhagwan swami narayan and that is why many times the king invited bhagwan and santo to stay with him in his palace and especially he invited santos for listening katha so bhagwan and santo they were staying there and they were Uh, santo were delivering sermons every day they were performing aarti stuti and everything and in this way they passed the whole day in devotion and the king and his family members they also enjoy the satsang there was a brahmin by the name of jetha maharaj he was living there in gondal in his caste all the other brahmins they were learned they were scholars and they have studied the scriptures but jetha maharaj he was not an intellectual person so because of his slow mind he cannot learn anything not only that but he even did not uh, do any other work so he learned the art of cooking and even he became master and in the whole state it is said that there is no one who can cook the food like jetha maharaj so he was become very famous and finally as his uh he was not only the cook but he was also very pious and genuine and follow all the rules and regulations of the brahmins so he was very genuine person but because of his uh not sharp intellect he was not learned and that's why he was doing the work of safe so the king hati singh ji he was the devotee of bhagwan swami narayan he invited this jetha maharaj to his palace to cook for bhagwan and santo so jetha maharaj he was also loving the company of saints even though he was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan he did not know anything about bhagwan swami narayan still he liked the company of any pious sadhus and at the time along with sri ji maharaj there were many many great saints like gopalan swami muktanand swami gunaditan so many saints were there and they were all they were also delivering sermons the whole day one after one so jetha maharaj after finishing his work 
in kitchen he joined the duties and he listened the different kathas from santosh not only that but the he even examined the santosh behavior like totally different from the others so by watching santosh different behavior and strictly follow the rules and regulations code code and conducts also he was impressed by the behavior of the devotees because he had visited many mandirs many places many places of pilgrimage and everywhere he had seen the behavior of the devotees as well as the other sadhus but he did not satisfy with the others behavior on the other hand here even though the saints and devotees stay in the palace still he 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 was experiencing like simpleness in all the saints and devotees not only that but he also found like this is these saints even though they were very scholars still they did not have any kind of ego in their mind not only that but even all the different saints they were all great they all are able to do all types of work they are all learners still they didn't have any like uh jealousy with each other so after finding these divine virtues in saints and devotees jetha maharaj he become very impressed and finally once upon a day he requested to santo please initiate me in your holy fellowship i want to become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan so santo gave him vartman meaning gave him a niyam and kanti like five religious vows not to eat meat not to drink alcohol not to steal in this way santo gave him five religious vows and from that day jetha maharaj he became a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan he also follow the each and every rules and regulations prescribed for the devotees by bhagwan himself not only that he began to worship his daily puja in the morning he also began to do aarti stuti every day two times in the morning and in the evening not only that but even he stopped to eat onion and garlic and here uh, stop to go outside meaning in any other social functions now he was enjoy the divine bliss of maharaj within his heart he was enjoying the satsang he was reading the scriptures but once the group of other brahmins they gather and they thought that this jetha they call him jetyo not jetha maharaj they call him like jetyo he is not uh, he he never come with us he didn't join with us and he had begun to worship bhagwan swami narayan so we should do something and by thinking in this way they came to jetha maharaj and they said you are very full as you do not understand anything in the scriptures you do not learn it and that's why you are following this fellowship of bhagwan swami narayan but you should follow us because we are learned we can uh, we know everything what is written in the scriptures so please after uh understanding what we are say is true and please stop to worship bhagwan so in this way they try to convince jetha jetha maharaj but jetha maharaj had all uh, he had all already conviction about the form of bhagwan swami and that's why he didn't say any single word because he was not learned and if he say anything then the other brahmins they were learned they were scholars 
they have studied the many scriptures so they may ask different 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 questions and jetha jetha mara thought in his mind that i cannot able to give any kind of reply to them so he remained silent but he continued to worship bhagwan swami he didn't stop after many times again santosh came to gondal and he had again chance to do the darshan of saints as well as to listen katha and to feed the santos then uh, because of his seva because of his cooking all santos become happy upon him and once he came to gopalanand swami for darshan then after doing darshan of gopalanand swami jetha maharaj requested to swami swami i have one problem then swami asked him because swami had already become pleased upon him so swami asked him what is the problem then jetha maharaj he explained everything the situation he said to swami swami there is no one in my uh, the whole caste there is not a single brahmin who is devotee of bhagwan swami narayan so they make a trouble in my devotion not i have no any kind of such problem but my problem is i cannot understand anything in the scriptures i have no such intellect to give him give them to any kind of reply so i always remain silent but they always try to speak ill of bhagwan and you santosh so that i cannot bear in any way so please do something you are great saint i know your divine powers you have the power like that of god himself so please do something then gopanand swami blessed him gopanand swami he had become pleased upon jetha maharaj and so he said jetha maharaj don't worry about it the problem will automatically solve you will be given a divine intellect when you they ask you any questions from the scriptures don't worry about it just remember the form of bhagwan and just give them the reply and not only that but swami told him that within a few time period you will be you will become like a very well respected person in your community everyone would respect you and according to swami's words jetha maharaj received a uh, very sharp intellect not only that without studying without learning anything he even uh become a scholar meaning he can read everything not only that but every uh, what he wants read uh, everything remain in his mind in his memory everything he had bec- meaning he had attained uh, all kinds of knowledge without learning without studying all the scriptures he had in his memory so the next time the other brahmins they ask him anything like different questions he immediately give them reply and not only that but by watching by listening perfect and precise answer from the scriptures all the other brahmins they understood something divinity in jetha maharaj and from that day they all call him not jetha but they all call him jetha maharaj not only that but even after that event jetha maharaj uh began to narrate the bhagwan swaminarayan's divine incidents and stories and his messages to the people so the other brahmins they also listen the sermons from jetha maharaj and they also become devotees of bhagwan swaminarayan many times jetha maharaj also 
treat the katha of many scriptures to the king of the state as well as the other devotees and finally whatever time maharaj came to gondal he himself made a delicious dishes meaning very different different types of foods for maharaj and feed all those foods to maharaj and he received rajib from maharaj so once a person who did not know anything in the scriptures one who did not have any kind of knowledge regarding the scriptures or any other like other way like he did not have any kind of logic and after getting the blessings after getting the rajipo or we can say because of ekantik satpurush grace gopanand swami's grace jethyo become jetha maharaj and he automatically without studying without learning without wasting time of reading the books he attained all kinds of knowledge of the scriptures all kind of logic no one can defeat him in the debate so this magic or we can say the miracle happen in any devotee's life when that devotee received the blessings grace or rajipo of ekantik satpurush now we have question arise here that jetha maharaj had a gopanand swami and by listening by reading the books we can understand that gopanand swami had divine power like that of maharaj himself so gopanand swami can grant him such kind of divinity or such kind of knowledge but we have such satpurus today or not then i would without doubt surely say that we have attained the same satpurus in our life we have the same satpurus in the form of puja guruji by obeying his command by receiving his blessings by attaining his rajipo we can also experience the same kind of thing same kind of unbelievable change in our life just think how we are before we have attained the company of puja guruji even though we are not staying with him for more time still we should think in our mind what i was before i have attained the company of ekantik satpurush and now we should think we should compare our own life with our past and our present what kind of feeling i ha- i am experiencing in my heart today is i have attained the company of ekantik satpurush like that of puja guruji definitely we all have the answer that definitely i have changed i am totally changed what i was that was totally different thing what i am that, that is also totally different thing why this change happen because we have attained the ekantik satpurush in the form of puja guruji he had the communication he had a unity or we can say union with bhagwan he had rapid contact with bhagwan and because of his attachment with bhagwan we are experiencing this change in our life so we can say yes we have attained the same kind of satpurush like that of gopanand swami muktanand swami gunatidanand swami in the form of puja guruji now just as jetha marat please them by doing seva we can also doing seva make satpurush raji and after attaining his rajipo we can also experience in our life the unbelievable change so let we go to try to please our ekantik satpurush our puja guruji 
to attain his rajibo and by attaining his rajibo we can attain the divine bliss of aksardham while living on this earth in this human body श्री घनश्याम महाराज जय श्रीपति श्रीधर सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधर्मात्मज वासुदेव हरे माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्री घनश्याम महाराज